Hellview is my project that I've been playing with for a long time to try to figure out how we can do more advanced rendering uh, with Helios. Specifically, I wanted to um, figure out how to get around the problem we're having with the viewports being rendered by DCS and then, you know, they have to be on the same screen as the Helios content and that kind of limits how many screens you can have and all this stuff. So, so the way I went about it is um, um, basically I have got, you know, I've got DCS running here and um, I have a dongle plugged into it, into that computer, which, uh, you know, pretends to be a screen. So I have an extra screen off to the right. This is, you know, this would, uh, DCS sees this screen as being, you know, off to the right. Um, and uh, that's where I'm rendering all the viewports. So you can see all the viewports are being uh, just packed in there. And I made that screen um, as small as I can make it while still using the total height of my layout, which is 1440. And um, so that's where I'm capturing the viewports. And then I'm uh, bringing them into a, a whole bunch of uh, new graphics code and and then rendering them onto my Helios screen. So this is um, these MFDs you see here and uh, the IFI and the UFC are actually those viewports, uh, but being, um, you know, captured and redisplayed by Helios. And you can tell from the fact that the the uh, UFC, uh, n you know, uh, writing has been bumped up in brightness. Um, the MFDs have extra contrast. Um, you know, I can adjust all that. I can I can do uh, processing on them. I can render them with effects. It's a little bit slower than the native drawing. So um, I've worked on that for a long time uh, with mixed success. I think the lag is pretty, um, you know, is as low as I can probably get it with reasonable effort. Um, but what it lets, lets you do is uh, basically now that means that I could have my Helios running on totally different graphics adapters. Uh, DCS doesn't need to know about it. I can plug in as many displays as I want. They're not involved in the DCS cycle at all and doesn't slow down DCS anymore. The uh, downside is uh, for it to work, um, you act, uh, it actually has to compete with DCS for resources on the primary graphics card. And that's, that's um, mainly why I would say this is only a partial success because you basically have to throttle DCS um, to not use all available GPU. Um, so that uh, my stuff can get a little bit of bandwidth to um, to do those captures and, and get those textures. On the plus side, you can do some pretty fun things. Um, so I'm going to go back to the Helios screen. I um, I can um, press a button on my um, Helios UI and uh, uh, pop my um, MFD up on the screen and um, turn it on dynamically. I can go through um, various adjustments on that. I can um, I can do like background removal, so I can now have like a like a heads up um, attack radar with a transparent background. Um, it looks pretty cool. Uh, Flare looks pretty cool heads up too. Um, so it's you know a little bit bigger than the one you get in the helmet mount normally um, and anyways um, so uh, that's what that does and then I can you know because I'm rendering it now and instead of the um, instead of uh, DCS rendering it I can do whatever I want with it um, I mean I'm, you know, I'm re-rendering it so I can go like you know I can do the thresholding we just showed I can just do brightness overall brightness uh, you know, obviously, then I have to control for the uh, background there. I can um, I can make it transparent. Um, so you know, if you want to see, you know, you could have like a flare. But uh, let me just turn off the thresholding because that looks really weird. Okay, so and then I can do. Um, like a transparent FLIR overlay if I really wanted to. I could have different settings uh, to kind of, you know, keep like some situational awareness kind of stuff going on. You can do whatever you want with it. 
because uh, you know now we're drawing it right um, and that's pretty much that uh, that uh, as far as I got on that project, um, what it what I used it for is that on my setup, I um. I wanted to be able to render uh, three fourteen forty p displays across, you know, so I have a three times twenty five sixty by fourteen forty for the main view, and then the little dongle view on the right side, uh, another thousand by fourteen forty, and I just render DCS across that, and then I have um, a separate graphics card for my various Helios, uh, Helios displays. And um, when they need a, a viewport texture, they can just, you know, it can just get copied um, over live. Um, sounds pretty great. Uh, it is very breakable. Um, it's very hard to tune. It's, um, it's very technical. And when I got, um, you know, sort of done with it, I realized that I really don't want to ship the, anything like this uh, because it, the support uh, cost, the number of bugs are going to be, it's going to be just not fun. Um, at the same time, it is pretty cool. So I don't know, maybe someday. Um, but uh, these are my results so far. I know there's some other people out there who are looking at similar things. Um, just uh, for the record, this was done without any illegal uh, um, <laughs> uh, reverse engineering. I'm not doing anything to DCS. I'm literally just screen grabbing, um, just in a very fast way uh, with some innovative code. Um, uh, not like maybe another approach to the same problem that kind of ran into uh, some difficulties there. Um, Yep. So, anyways, I wish we could. Uh, I wish we could kind of, you know, make this this work very smoothly. Um, I don't currently see that happening without like a whole lot more effort and a whole lot of testing. So, that's where that project lies at this point.